Shit. Let it be known then. Hey, all of these people right now, bro, in today's modern era, modern era, hey, Jerm loves it when we start going this direction, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like it's about to go down. Um, all right, how do y'all, uh, Telemundo in English, how do y'all feel about this, Telemundo in English? If all these cancel culture just like got reminded to like shut the heck up. And uh, it's just the circle of life or the way life moves. It's just, you can't change it. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, nah, it doesn't make sense, huh? It's like you can't change your life, yeah. No, not like our own life, but just like, uh, I'm not saying you're crying. I'm just saying you're disagreeing. You can't control everybody. Right. right. Damn, that's a good way to put it. You can't control everybody. Um, I can, I can control myself. Yeah. I can't even do that sometimes. You can't control the way everybody's gonna take things. Like it's just you know, we all have different type of ideologies. We're gonna get, and we're gonna get all serious on them. <laughs> all serious on them. The no, it's it, it it is it is it is like that. Uh, from a standpoint of like going on vacation for a while, like however long you go on vacation, <laughs> vacation whatever you want to call it. It, it takes that much amount of time when you get out to acclimate back to society. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's crazy. It is crazy. You have that way of life or people talk certain ways and like you're like, what? But anyways, that A. That's that, harder to rub off, huh? Oh, out. yeah, man. It. I don't think... Uh, not everybody's the same either. Some folks are like, ah, whatever. But... Um, not like if you got to some status or something. It, it's just over time. For me, like, I just ended up having to be more like a, it was just a way of life. There was, at first, you know, you might be like, dang, man, this is going on, that's going on, blah, 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 blah. Right. But after a while, you're just like, oh, I'm going to go see what the homie Days is doing right now. I'm going to run up, uh, you know, see what's up. What are we going to get a workout on? Whatever, right? And it just becomes... Like how you do it right now when you go home and I'm going to go home and eat, see the kids, do this. So that's just the way of life, homie. The way of life of that is it really, um, it brings you, you can't just break it. It's like PTSD. But I don't think they can diagnose uh, convicts. Trauma? No, well, they, Why not? They, I don't think they let them get PTSD. You have to put in like 15 years or so many years. Plus, you gotta have like some of this other stuff to like. It's just That's weird. Up, oh, it's all the way messed up. I'm not saying that the dude is doing less or more if he goes across seas or whatever, but you go sit in the cage for a while. Let me and let me know how you feel. Free all the boys, <laughs> Free all the boys up the beach. Right, right. No shout out to the homies doing time in the desert. Right. Did you hear the song? Ultimately. Ultimately. Um. Did you got a, do you got like family members, cousins? Like uh I mean I know probably the, the homies and shit like that been there or whatnot. That are locked up? Yeah. Yeah, I got other cousins that are locked up right now. Do you write them letters? Uncles. No, I'm I putting don't. them on the spot. Do you write them letters? I don't. <laughs> is hey, you know what? The real ones they know what time it is. And it's not that you can't write a letter or whatever. One of my cousin, my cousin, uh, that fool just, he got, maybe it's already been a couple of years, but that mm -hmm. fool got in a big ass shootout with the cops. That fools were chasing him down. Oh, Alhambra, that fool was shooting out the back window. What's the name of the street? What'd you say? <clears throat> the city is called Alhambra, but the street is uh -huh. called Atlantic. I don't know if it was oh. Atlantic or Garfield, but it was in Alhambra. Yeah. You can fucking pull it up, the news, uh, news report for all that shit and everything. But that fool was like dumping on the cops out the car and shit, just. On one dog driving around fucking on a big ass chaser. No, he's like, he thought he was playing GTA? Yeah. I mean, uh -uh. that fool's a winner, dog. Like, you'd be surprised. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. I'm just saying, you know, the motherfucker's like driving around town. Like, brah, 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 brah. No, yeah, for the trip. Oh. <laughs> and then, and then, it, then if they start chasing you, this, that, like, you're just like, oh, we're already there. We took it there. Yeah, I'm on 10. Yeah. I'm on 11. I'm on 12. I'm ready to die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a picture of my fucking all my primos and my dad and everybody. Oh, out. he's like, yeah, like, oh shit. He's like, oh, you got family. <laughs> you got, I got. You asked if I got family up in the joint. Yeah. Oh, see, I always forget about the homie shit too. The 
That's where you, a lot of the homies, your your the homies at too. Um, that damn man, these wires all in my way. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> they are. I'm sorry, bro. Hey, uh, being like uh, being on vacation sucks. Right. Not being able to get like the right uh treatment for that time. You, you for the what? Anything. Right, right. For anything, really. Um. So. So you got you got to help me out, dog. Not help me out. I'm just joking with you. Did we show you this tip? I, it's because I forgot what I I rolled down on my phone, so that's why I can't jump in if I can. Damn that yeah, that ain't right. Say I feel I feel all alone right now, man. Tell the homie right now. He hit that button for me, dog. It's too far away. Which one, C or B? Uh, B, I think. No good. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's supposed to save me. He's supposed to be my my hero and shit. Hey, uh, what was it? I know some shit. Oh, man. there was some kid uh, recently, uh, like a couple of days ago. That fool was fucking uh, tripping out on Salvia, dog. And this fool jumped out like a six story building window, tripping yeah. on Salvia, dog. It, some, right here? In Los Angeles? I don't think it was here, but it was recent. It was like a couple of days ago. I saw the, like a news art clip of it. And yeah, that fool was tripping, he dog. But that shit, like, a lot, I, every time I, uh, someone tells me about their salvia trip, it's always, like, some sh- crazy shit like that. Like, they go running out the fucking spot, or they're, you know, running from salvia somebody. They're always trying to avoid some shit. Yeah. So you done salvia? No, but I, I, I'll be, you know, I'll be hearing about it. And yeah. It's a very cool hallucinogenic, supposedly. Yeah, you done that shit? Salvia? Yeah. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, not, uh, not, uh, not salvia, but, um. Spice. Oh, spice. Yeah. Homie, in the joint. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, see, the thing is, is these fools want to roll up a big old like blunt, right? And smoke, and that, bro, that, that stuff is no joke. Yeah. That's how it gets you like that. Like it's definitely no joke. But right when I got out, the homie gave me like a little medicine cap, not a cap, but like a. It was called Cheech and Chong. Uh huh. Meets Wayne's World. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. No, it's called High Roller. That's what it was. But Chichen Chong were like on the front or something like that. Had you had that one? Yeah, that one's tight. But the way I would I would hit it is I'll just take a pinch and I'll put it in like the toilet paper and I'll, you know, the toilet paper's flat. Yeah. And I'll put like a good chunk right there and I'll kind of roll it up and rip the rest off. Yeah. I'll take the pencil eraser. I mean, just some little makeshift steamroller. And then boom hit, and that's all you need, dog. Yeah. Cause then you'll be lit for a while, not like a long while, but like a good while, and then you can just come back and just take that one. Yeah. Yeah. Cause if you try to smoke like a, a blunt or that or more, like man, the pinnerest hey, of joints. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like. <laughs> yeah. Like no, it's it is no joke. It is no joke for sure, man. Um, my my, <laughs> sorry for you getting put on blast. My. Uh, <laughs> My uh, sister's uh, baby daddy, man. Uh, shout out to that fool, I guess. But that fool would get spiced out, bro. And then I'd be like, hey, fool, what are you doing? He'd be like, huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah. 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 Straight up. That K2 shit. Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. I think I had a gummy of that. K2? No, D12. Or uh, not D12. Uh, Delta? Delta. Yeah. Over there in uh, Pennsylvania. I heard him talking, like, because uh, we all went to go eat, like, dinner one day. Mm. It was like a like. 12 or so of us and um they were like oh yeah well i got like, some gummies and i i didn't even i was oblivious to the whole thing my boy just the whole thing i was just oblivious to so i took one oh no, shout out to trippy that one took one too um we went back oh, i don't think they follow us so that's all right <laughs> uh, we went back and and i was like oh we still got like 30 minutes i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna take a nap uh-huh. homie i was out for like four hours trippy oh, trippy was like right there next to me and that that <laughs> putting you on blast today my boy <laughs> that was that fool was like Bleh! like in the bathroom and shit but, yeah but then all of a sudden then boom we were cool mm. like i was sleeping i felt like woozy and shit that's why i don't want to get up and the, and then the homie like or whatever but then we just like got cool but it was like five six hours later damn yeah for real the homie uh, the homie graffiti party was just like hey man are you all right <laughs> and I was what you like, give him? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> nah, he knew I took one. Those folks took one too. Yeah. Yeah. But those folks didn't get like that. Yeah. I don't know what it was. I mean, it, it was, yeah, it was fat. It, it was stomach. Fat. Yeah, empty stomach. And what's going on over here, man? 
These people don't want to uh, roll up or nothing, or I'm not hitting the button. It's no, been I, dead on TikTok? It's dead on TikTok, homie. Damn. I don't know if it's because of germ or what. Because <laughs> he didn't come out yesterday, dog. Yesterday it? was dead too, no, or what? It was dead, huh? Are they? Oh. Uh, when, I, when I was printing, it was dead. Like, usually it was, was kind of cracked, but it was kind of You know what yesterday. that means, right? That's censoring us? You got to start drawing. <laughs> oh. You got to start drawing, dog. No, cool. No, I'm cool. That's you. You're the artista. No, artista. Or Fucasso. No. Fucasso, Fucasso. <laughs> Got a big ass F. No, I'm just <laughs> Fucasso. Oh, nah, I got the E, though. It's not an F. Hey, so, I mean, I know I know about some other dumb stuff, man. Hey, Jerm. Talk about it then. I am, I am, oh. I am, I am, I am. I'm just trying to. You know what? See, I get like, sometimes I get caught up in that. Yeah, and, and and I wanted to see, but those fools now they're gonna just have to come. They're just gonna have to hear your boy get it. That's why, like, I don't know. Like, we're we, we gonna keep doing it like that, or we're we gonna do it like the how regular you, way, you know? How over like this? Yeah, because it just seems like it's don't interacting that. with that. It's not necessarily like a what we're chopping it up like before. You got know? you. I got you. Well, that that one, they still see us though, and we're gonna still chop it yeah. up. But if these fools come in, they might say, "Oh, I got something to say about that." If it it becomes that way, but now, okay, there we go. Look. We rolling back. I'm rolling back the chair. Yeah, I think like if we just leave that live, we leave that on, exactly. and they want to hop on, they hop on. Then we start interacting. That's, with them. that's it. Hey, listen. But like to be reading the comments. And hey, shit but can I ask you a question? Why are you yelling? Oh, yeah. I just. Well, sometimes it just be crackalacking on on the comments, my boy. I mean, I like it when they talk head. I just fucking then we go back and forth. No, just. Right. <laughs> All right. So. Hey, this is your podcast, bro. I'm just. Oh, see, oh, now, oh, now, oh, now it's my podcast. <laughs> See how this dude is? I'm gonna hold this mic the whole time. Uh, put I'm it on. on. <laughs> Unclip it. Be quick, guy. There you go. That's what she said. <laughs> that out. Oh, there you go. Alright. I didn't tell you, Germ, today, huh? No, I don't want to. Uh, have you ever been hypnotized, Germ? No. Huh? Bust huh? booty, yes. <laughs> you were hit booty, Hey, you was hypnotized off that booty? That's right. It was like juicy. Huh. Man, the, oh, it's the apron that was fucking. That's just holding you down or what? Yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. The shit. string and shit, yeah. That's All right, nice. man, check this out. Again, Two Cents Podcast. I think we, uh, I think we chilling. <laughs> I think we, I think we, uh, one of them days we were just slacking with our Mac in. So if you tune in, we in here. Um, the homie's going to be on Telemundo tonight. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, Las Vegas. Uh, I like that conversation. That was a good one. That was tight. With, uh, with the homeboy? With them doing uh, what they want the, what they want to fucking make it like Amsterdam here. That's pretty tight. I mean, we're... Yeah, I mean... But that's why it was more like, I guess... Uh, I mean, you can go... There's like big sections of the whole state of Nevada where prostitution is legal. Right. Like you can just do it. You know, but I, I mean, I'm meaning like the going. I, I want to go to a fucking movie theater and smoke a blunt in there and watch the movie. You know, I want to be able to go to the bar or wherever. I don't know the arcade here and smoke well, that, weed that, in there. Like that comes to a good question though. Smoke, they don't let yeah. it. Uh, they don't want us to smoke in certain parts of like the casino and stuff like that. Like, right. Uh, okay, in the joint right here in Nevada, they used to smoke, can't smoke mm. because they don't. You know, like I smoke and you don't. Right. Oh man, I'm a, I'm a fucking. You're gonna get hot boxed out. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> it happens. Right. I play twenty one. There's just right. Yeah, yeah. Now we play like, space, yeah. dude. And yeah. no, most definitely, bro. At the roulette table, she's smoking a cigarette next to me. I'm like, oh, here we go. Hey, straight up, I'll always ask the person, "Do cigarettes bother you?" Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll be like, I mean, if I see they smoking, they got their ashtray on. I'm like, I'm not really gonna say anything, right? Because I already know how I am. But if I if I'm just pulling up or something, or or maybe they pulled up, mm. I'm like, oh yeah, you know I smoke, um, or or do you smoke cigarettes? Because I don't want to smoke cigarettes all up, just hot boxed on you. Right. I mean, like when I come out to Vegas, I always I always I always get a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, I get the 100, uh, not the menthol. Why? Yeah, it's the menthol ones. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I just man. like to smoke. I just like to smoke cigarettes when I'm drinking. You know, especially like here. Like it's because I guess I know. Like I have a bud, but. I yeah. can hit the pin here and there, but sometimes I just want to smoke, and it's like, oh, I'm at the table. I could smoke this fucking uh, the cigarette, you know? But I guess because yeah. I didn't know the rules to that extent when I would come here from L.A., 
But now that I'm here, I'm like, oh, we're always smoking in the fucking casino, wherever. Always with the pants and shit. Smoking a blunt, smoking whatever, dog. Like, we'll be blazing the hell in the casino. Uh, I mean, we'll smoke blunts, like, in, or, or, we, or we might twist one up, not right. blaze it. Uh, like, you know, in the back parts or whatever. I mean, I've walked down the, don't get me, I've done some other things. I've been, right. you thought me fucking doing that, the song was mean. Like, I would get other fools, I would have, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would, I would throw Tell water, but, I, <laughs> hey, so, I actually drove down Las Vegas Boulevard, mm -hmm. like, last week, like, at a Friday around 3, 4 o'clock. Right. Um, anybody that's from Las Vegas for long, for a while knows that you don't drive down Las Vegas Boulevard. Mm. You know, like around that time, traffic and all that. But the city's gotten like so big that like the outer towners aren't really taking that street. Or like I know we still got tourists and stuff, but they're all trying to hop on the freeway. Everybody's kind of trying to get on the freeway, or that's how I took it. But I made it from where I stayed all the way down. Like, bro, like, 15 minutes. Like, almost, like, less than how it would be on the freeway. Oh, shit. So, um, I was on Harmon and Las Vegas Boulevard. It was there's a travel lodge right there. It used to be called the Harley-Davidson Cafe, right on the corner. Mm. Like, they made the street, like, curves, though. Harmon curves now. It didn't used to be like that. Like, how the Cosmo or whatever, and then it crosses Las Vegas Boulevard, and you got the Planet Hollywood and, like, that little corner mall section. Then you got that, like, uh, Mexican restaurant, I think. Right. But, like, that was a Harley-Davidson. Next to the Harley Davidson was the Travel Lodge. Yeah. And like at the edge of the Travel Lodge, there was the the henna and piercing shop, and I worked right in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. I just the Harley Davidson had the big ass uh, bike coming out, right? Oh, there was like yeah, it was right there, yeah. but right there, like on the corner. Right. They didn't have that bridge there, so you couldn't cross like that. You just crossed right there on Las Vegas Boulevard. Yeah. So. I remember but all that. There were some stairs you could go up, so like, uh, here was like. Here's Las Vegas Boulevard. Our shop was right here. Like, you know, you kind of walk down, boom, there it is. Right. And um, it faced Las Vegas Boulevard. But if you keep walking down into the travel lodge, there's uh, some stairs that shoot up. And that's the second floor. But you can kind of, like, hop a little gate. And you'll be on the roof. Oh, shit. So I'll be on the roof, homie. And I'll have, like, five or six <laughs> water balloons. Be in the middle of the summertime. And I'll throw them straight up. Boom. And then, like, they'll just come down. Bam. Sometimes I'll get full. Sometimes yeah. it, I'm, it's not that I'm trying to hit them or I'm not trying to hit them. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> That's see what happens. Hey, the, hey, or a bus right in front of them. And they're just like, what the heck? Right. Yeah, it'd be... One time I got a... There was like... A, there was like... For like Probably like five or six like... Cholo fools and shit. Yeah. And they're coming out this way. And I'm, already, I'm looking at this dude. But this dude ends up like cutting or something. And now they start coming. But I had already threw the balloons. Like... <laughs> and like... All of a sudden like these... Like right in front of their feet, and they all look up. I'm like, oh shit, cause now I'm, cause I'm watching the balloon. Like I'm gonna get that. Oh, these fools coming the way. <laughs> so I kind of like just chill right there, and I go down the stairs, and there's a. I go back in the shop, so I'm chilling in the shop for a while, cause I'm trying to hide from them. Right. They didn't see me though, but they kept looking around, right? They were really looking around, and they end up coming in the shop, but as they're coming in, I'm like walking out, oh, sure. and I got like two, three more balloons. Because it was like a little while already, so I don't, I don't know if they like went down a little bit and came back, but whatever. They were more like looking, and one of them kind of like seen that I had the water balloons. And I seen them, dog, and I'm like, fuck, dog. So I like cut around, and I went inside the store here because they had an entrance here and an entrance here. Right. And they ended up kind of trying to follow, not like trying to follow me like bad. Uh, yeah, they were, try they were trying to see like, hey, homie. Like, and, and I went to the store, and I came back out the front and went back into the shop where I was working at. <laughs> they didn't find me, dog, but... You could see them just looking for me, and like a bunch of times, I got like, we would like do dummy packs and shit like that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that. Should I take it off that? I'm here. I think that's fine. Okay. What? It's nine thirty-seven. What time did we start today? Like at eight thirty. Really? <laughs> yeah. I hate when fucking uh. You were like, you got stuff to talk. We're gonna talk about we the. We got one hundred and eighteen minutes. No, we don't. Yeah. Oh, it's because the song. So it's like sixty, and it's like seventy minutes. Seventy eight minutes. All right. Uh, listen, man. Uh, so, so all these tattoo artists. Uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. we're, we're always on Instagram, right? Right. Um, if you're an artist of of some, with the cans or whatnot, for sure you you know some tattoo artists, and you probably follow some and. Blah, 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 right? Or right. it passes through your feed on your search or whatever. And you'll be seeing some dope-ass tats. 
and and they are dope. They're pretty dope. They are dope. But I think the new rule should be you can't post any fresh tattoos. Hmm. You know what I mean? M- maybe the dude who got it, but as the artist, he can't post no fresh tattoos. Right. Or he can't post that. He can't post a fresh tattoo picture until he does the healed picture. And he can't drop the contrast with the camera. Well, I mean, because that's how they cheat. They put the contrast yeah. down, and it makes that black just pop. Yeah, it does. All the color pop, like. And then you see him like at a tattoo convention or something. You're like, oh, that's, that's all faded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's a new rule though. You cannot post. You're, you can't post. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that ain't. Hey. <laughs> What do you think will happen if they did that? I don't know. It's nothing that nothing. people still rock with them. I would, they'll be like, hey, I still want that one. <laughs> hey, you're right, though. Hey, you're absolutely right. Because when I be tatting all the time before, like, these high will come and they'll have their hair done, their nails did, they, these knockoff bags and whatnot and trying to look all cute and stuff. And then you'll be like, oh, yeah, man, it's going to be 150 bucks. And they'll be like, what, 150? <laughs> I'll, I'll be like, what? Yeah. Like, you know, that's what, like, you know, well, even in our, like, shops that, like, where the walk-ins are just whack, you'd be like, oh, you see him come in, and then you're like, oh, that's on the homie right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's next. Who usually gets that, that job, the walk-ins, like, in the I, shop? Is, it, uh, is there, like, a the newer guy or something? Um, just a rotation. Mm. Uh, so, I mean, I've been around where, like, one of these shops right here, kind of where there's a lot of high traffic. It's going to be the rotation. But uh, usually whoever is, it just depends if it's like more traditional right. shop. It would probably be the uh, the lead, the headful, or you know what I mean? Maybe the master artist, whatever right. you want to call it. I don't know. Uh, if, if he wasn't doing nothing or whatever, he, and he was, all three of you guys were in there, and he was open, you were open, and the other homie was, you know, he might be like, oh, yeah, you guys got it. You know what I mean? Or he might be like, that was on me, boys. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, some shops like my homeboy, uh, my homeboy Sketch. Shout out to Sketch at the King of Hearts, bro. <laughs> he's a tough cookie. Like he's like uh, he won't even do no tats. He'd be like, "Nah, we're we're only we're only doing a three hundred dollar minimum, or what?" I mean, and I get it because he wants to, he wants to value his shit at like right. And that three hundred dollars is gonna get you what like some other shops are charging. Mm, 124 and it's still just like a little baby mm. tat you know what i mean right. you're not getting no tattoo you're getting a tattoo but you're not getting no tattoo i i think like a tattoo is when you're there for two plus hours yeah you know some fools knock them out fast but i can get something done fast and you're just like okay it's done you sit there and get blasted they oh i got a tattoo right so you know it's pretty tight when they do like those relay uh tattoos and they kind of have like a ball machine and you fucking go and put your quarter in or whatever and then that random ass like you oh. get a random tattoo you know oh like the gumball machine yeah but they're kind of like a sticker machine or something like yeah, that those are sick. and then what yeah the, uh so those are usually uh i think it's a free tattoo or a 13 dollar tattoo mm. and they usually do every friday the 13th is every friday the 13th is a 13 dollar tattoo seven dollar tip for luck so it makes it dub right. quarter size you know what i mean or whatever flash yeah a lot of artists will ha- some shops won't even do that though some shops will or a lot of shops will and some shops won't at all yeah so but any friday 13 if it hits uh hey man when i got out i was working in the shop and that friday the 13th homie i i hit yeah. Yeah, bro. I was. I, I think I did like sixteen tattoos, oh, and in those sixteen tattoos, I did probably like uh, about four or five of them were like a chunky tattoo, mm. to where I like I got like more money for it. Obviously, right. you know what I'm saying. So I'm like, I'll do, oh, that one, that one, that one. Okay, bam, knock those out. Boom, you got the long one. Then boom, do some more short ones, and it's just look at it if you want. Nah, I'm just. What is it? What's the TikTok? It says, uh, Two is that what's throwing it off? That's what? what's throwing it off. What? the name that's what, what it is uh it's telemundo in english oh uh-huh. <laughs> no what's the what's the name of the is two cents official the, the official two cents podcast uh, on on tiktok mm-hmm. it's just two cents podcast yeah bro i was seeing if you were gonna know that you're so silly you're so silly you silly what do they say you are a toy <laughs>